hey what is up everyone so there's been an issue about the twrp recovery touch screen not working after installing the lineage os custom rom so as you can see i've just installed lineage os on this and i boot back into the recovery mode and the touch is not working so the only solution that worked out for me is installing the stock rom then again flashing the twrp recovery image then the touch will be working just fine I tried to reflash the recovery image using Odin but that also did not work. I also tried reflashing the VB meta image but still that also did not work. So the only solution as far as I know is you need to first flash the stock ROM then after flashing the stock ROM you need to flash the TWRP recovery image again then you can go ahead and install any other custom ROM you want. So yeah I'm gonna just show that quickly. I'm gonna install the stock ROM then again flash the TWRP recovery. Don't worry, I'll just put everything in like a time lapse type of thing so you don't have to wait. So yeah, we need to flash the stock ROM again. So I always recommend you to download the stock operating system of your Samsung phone from this website samfw.com. So just like before, you type in your model number which is SMM526B for Galaxy M52 5G. Scroll down, choose your correct CAC code. Mine is India which is INS. So I'm gonna select that. Scroll down and again you need to select the latest firmware which is available for your phone scroll down again and here you can use any of the download links to download the firmware next you need to download patch Odin. as always i recommend patch Odin over the normal Odin. scroll down again and here you can download the latest version just click on it and the download will start once you have downloaded the two files you can exit out of your browser all right so first we need to extract the firmware zip file so i'm gonna right click and then select extract tool you can use any extracting tool over here now we just wait for the extraction to complete Alright so once the extraction has finished you also need to extract the odin zip file. Once that is done you need to go inside the extracted folder of odin and then open the odin flash tool. Select ok. So yeah now we need to load the firmware files. So first up is bl. Click on bl. Browse to where you have extracted your firmware. And then you need to choose the file which says bl in the starting. So I'm gonna select that. And just like that you need to do for all of these over here. So next up is AP. I'm going to do AP in the last because that is going to take some time. Okay so next one is CP. I'm going to click on that and then choose the file which says CP in the beginning. So I'm going to choose that. Next up is CSC. Again you must not choose the home underscore CSC. You need to choose the one which says only CSC in the starting. So yeah select that. And user data you can just leave it blank you don't need to add anything there and finally I'm gonna add the AP so here this is the AP file over here so I'm gonna double click on that and the AP file will take some time to load just leave it don't click anything it's just a big firmware file so it's gonna take some time to load up and if it says that the Odin flash tool is not responding don't panic just don't do anything just leave it like that it's gonna load the firmware and everything is gonna be fine again and as you can see all the firmware files are loaded so now what you need to do is you need to boot your phone into the download mode so let's go ahead and do that all right so as you can see we are still stuck in the twrp recovery over here and the touch is not working so to reboot your phone into the download mode you need to first connect your phone to your pc then you need to press and hold the volume down button and the power button and as soon as the phone turns off you need to shift your fingers to the volume up and down button so you need to hold the volume up and down button until the green display is shown so yeah let's do that
so here we are in the download mode so at the screen you need to press the volume up button and as you can see we are in download mode and your device should show up in, in this small box over here it's showing two devices because i'm using one device to record the screen of the phone so yeah now it's pretty much easy all you have to do is press the start button and i had to tell you this before but all your data will be erased so keep that in mind all right so all you have to do is press on the start button and the stock rom flashing will start now we just have to wait until the flashing is completed and the phone is going to automatically reboot So yeah, once the flashing process is completed, your phone is going to reboot automatically into the stock ROM. So the first boot will take some time, so we're going to have to wait for that. So yeah, as you can see, the phone has booted back into the stock ROM. So I'm just going to finish the setup. Just to make sure we need to head over to the developer options to check if the OEM unlocking toggle is still turned on. So you know how to enable developer options, go to about phone, software information and then tap on the build number a couple of times. Go back and you will have the developer options over here. Here you need to make sure the OEM unlocking is toggle is turned on. And as you can see there is no OEM unlocking option at all. So for that what you need to do is you need to connect your phone to the network just for like two minutes or something so i'm gonna go ahead and connect to my wi-fi real quick so yeah now i've connected my phone to the wi-fi now if you go to developer options you might still not see it oh yeah here it is so as you can see oem unlocking bootloader already unlocked so yeah now we can go ahead and again reboot the phone into the download mode and then install the recovery image so let's do that real quick and also if you don't have this recovery image the links are in the description down below so you can go ahead and download all the files which are shown in this video over there so yeah let's continue we need to boot our phone into the download mode again to do that press and hold the volume down button and the power button until your phone switches off as soon as your phone switches off you need to shift your fingers over to the volume up and down button and then keep them holding until you see a green screen displayed on the phone once this green colored screen is shown you need to press the volume up button and now we are in the download mode all right so head over to your pc and you need to open odin now you need to click on ap and then browse to where you have stored the recovery image oh looks like i forgot again so what you need to do is you need to convert this image file to a tar file so here I'm using 7-zip so just right click on it 7-zip add to archive select tar in this drop down menu and then click ok now as you can see the tar file is created so now we can go ahead and choose the tar file connect your phone to your PC and it should say added and it should show your device in the small box again it's showing two devices because I have another phone connected which is used to record the phone screen so now as soon as you press start over here and as soon as it says reset in this small square box you should immediately go ahead and press the volume up button and the power button until you see the TWRP logo so let's do that so I'm gonna click start over here 
keep my fingers ready and as soon as it says reset press the volume up down button and the power button and now we are in the TWRP recovery mode and as you can see the touch is working and everything is working so yeah that's it for this video guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video okay so we missed a step over here as we are you know installing the twrp recovery from the stock rom you will also have to flash the vbmeta.img to get everything working so yeah i forgot that step i'll uh, leave a link in the description to that file you also need to flash it in the user data partition of the odin flash tool so you need to flash the vbmeta.img to the user data partition and again your phone will be fixed oh my god what has happened to me today so yeah after you flash the vb meta image you need to go to your twrp recovery again select wipe advanced wipe select alvik rt cache cache metadata data internal storage swipe to wipe it's okay if this error is popping up you go back again go back again for select format data type in the word yes select that tick mark and again once it's done you need to select reboot system and your phone is going to reboot properly So yeah, again over here you just need to set up your phone like you just got a new one and the TWRP touch screen will be working just fine. Now you can go ahead and flash any other custom ROM you want and the TWRP touch screen will be working. I'm sure there is much, uh, there is a much easier way to fix this problem but as far as I know this is the only method which you know fixes the TWRP recovery touch screen issue. So when you install Linux OS, I think the touch modules of the you know the recovery image gets altered or something. I don't know. The touch doesn't work. And this happens only for the Linux OS. So this happens only when you install Linux OS and then you have to, if you want to do something else, you go into the recovery mode, the touch screen won't work. So yeah, as far as I know, this is the only solution I know. If you have any other solutions, please feel free to comment them down below. So yeah, that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.